Okay, you've installed AVG8. The first thing you need to do is update. All you have to do, click here, it will check for new updates. If there are any, it will download and install. Go to Tools, Advanced Settings. Now here, the only available language is English. Leave these settings as they are. Virus Vault, you can set this to a percentage. You can also set automatic file deletion. You can add PUP exceptions. Link Scanner, if you don't want the AVG Search Shield, use Link Scanner from XPL Labs. You will find a link on my blog. Scans, scan the whole computer. Tick all of these, but untick Scan Infectable Files only and set it to Fast Scan. Shell Extension. You don't really need any of these. Scan the archives and scan potentially unwanted programs and spyware threats. Again, Fast Scan. Specific files or folders. You'll get a warning if you have infections. You can decide on the action you want to take. Tick the unwanted programs and spyware threats. You don't need the cookies. Scan the archives. Use heuristics. You do not want to scan the system environment or the infectable files only. Again, set it to file scan. Scheduling. Now, you can scan every day if you like, but quite honestly, I've set mine for every Saturday at 10 o'clock. I've enabled the task. If you're using a laptop, you can use it if it's in low power mode. You can also select to run it on computer startup if the task has been missed. How to scan. Select fast scan. Tick these, but leave the infectable files only unticked. You cannot use scan for rootkits on this version. AVG have seen it in their wisdom to remove this program and only include it in the paid for versions. Additional scan settings. If you set it to scan when you finished using your computer at the end of the day, you can just leave it and walk away and shut down the computer upon completion and force it to shut down if the computer is locked. What to scan? The default is the whole computer. For my use I scan C. That's it. Because everything else I have stored on an external drive. So everything that I back up gets scanned before. So apply your settings. The database you update each day the default it will do it at every four hours but to pick a time that suits you to do an update run on computer startup if it's been missed again on a laptop run if it if it's in low power mode enable the task and run the update again as soon as the internet connection is available and apply your settings the update schedule is exactly the same thing so set the same time every day tick these four boxes and that's it Email scanner is preset. Mail filtering, you can remove attachments or specific extensions. Log and results. It's an idea to keep a log that you can go back over if you do get a problem. And it will keep this log here. Set your file size for the log. I set mine at 5 megabytes, it's plenty. Servers, POP3 is automatically set as is SMTP. You don't need to touch any of these settings. The Resident Shield advanced settings, you can scan all files using the Resident Shield or infectable files and selected types of documents. I would leave it at this setting. You can add exceptions for the Resident Shield and use that as an ignore list. Update. If you're not using a proxy, this doesn't apply. If you're on dial-up, use your dial-up connections. 
for everyone else the link is already here and that's it you just click OK and everything's set that's it nice simple and straightforward an annoying thing is this little window that pops open which is a gentle reminder to get you to upgrade AVG does have a few glitches which I will cover in another post on some systems it will not work so there are some alternatives I hope this has been of some help to you this is Colin from Free PC Security have a good day all